Hi guys, just a very quick video on how to return your SD card back to normal to use it in say a mobile phone, a camera or whatever after using an operating system like LibreLeck, Lacquer or something else. So we're going to be using a tool called SD card format. And what this is going to do is it's going to remove those two, ta two partitions that are on the SD card which creates the partition for the operating system and the partition for the storage. So if you've ever put your SD card into your computer, say it's an 8GB SD card, you'll notice that you've got 512MB of usable memory. Now Windows can't see the other partition, now that's a 7.5GB of storage. If you've got a Linux computer, maybe Ubuntu or something like that, and you put your SD card into there, it'll actually bring up the two partitions and then you'll be able to see them. Windows doesn't do that, which is absolutely fine, it's nothing to worry about. Or we need to do is we need to grab SD card format and use this tool to return your SD card back to normal so we can carry on and use it for everyday purposes. So let's crack on right now let's get on with this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video, don't forget to share it, that helps a great deal. As well as that don't forget to subscribe to the MSQ project. So the first thing we obviously need to do is insert our SD card with whatever operating system we've burnt onto it into your computer. Then we need to install SD card format. Now I'm just going to leave the links in the description to where you can actually get this program. I'm sure you've installed plenty of programs onto Windows before, so it's not something I'm actually going to show you, but it's very self-explanatory if you've ever installed a program. So once you've installed SD card format, load it up. You'll see the icon just as displayed, so double click on it obviously, and load it up. Now you need to select the right drive. Mine's on drive H, so I will select that and make sure you actually select the right one. Don't select the wrong one because you don't want to totally format the wrong SD card. That could be disastrous. So make sure you're selecting the right SD card with the operating system that you burnt onto it, such as Lead Relic and so on. Next thing we need to do is just click format. Confirm it by clicking OK and then click OK again. Then you quickly format it very quickly. And once that's done, you'll see on the volume, it'll say, so on this card it says 14.8 gigabytes, so that's the SD card returned to its 16 gigabyte storage capacity. And before it would have said 512 megabytes on this volume label. So once you've done that, that's it. You're absolutely fine. You can go on and use that SD card in your camera, in your mobile phone, or whatever you want to use it for. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching, and we shall see you in the next one.